of heaven. Yeah. The kingdom of heaven, my sister. So what are we reading? Nobody in sin will get the kingdom of heaven. So we have to fix these things that's wrong with us. We have to fix them. Not say, ah, I know, but it's expensive. Ah, well, how much is your soul? How much is your soul? Because you just put a price on it when you say it. I'd rather die than to get rid of this few hundred dollars. That's what you. That's what we say. So what we out here doing is, is we out here showing our people the truth of this Bible because we die. We dying. We dying. This is life. Watch this. The uh, the the, uh, the seventeen and um he hates. <laughs> yeah. It's right 15. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my brother. He's like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry, brother. Sirach, chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hated all abomination, and they that fear God love it not. That's not what I wanted. But it says the same thing. God. <laughs> That's right, get them babies and children. That's right. We we don't got that nowadays. We need more of that. Mothers having their children in check. We need that in our community. Hurry. Hurry. All praises. Watch this. Read. The Lord hated all abomination, and they that fear God love it not. They that fear God hates what he hates, loves what he loves, which is the commandments. John first John. Or actually, 2 John, verse 6. Nope. 1 John, chapter 5. 1 John, chapter 5. Watch this. 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. So, when we talk about do we love God, when we talk about things like that, God defines what that means. Right. To believe Him is to love Him, is to fear Him. To, to follow His commandments is to love Him, is to fear Him, is to believe in Him. As we've been reading throughout the scriptures, what we come in contact with, with ourselves, is the fact that we have not learned what it, not only what it means to love God, but also how to love God. We have not learned that. And we have to learn it. That's what we have to come into. Watch this. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. You know how all of us, we like to say, yeah, I love God. I love the Lord. He loved me. I love Jesus. He loved me. How it go? God, God knows my heart. God knows my heart. He, 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 he loves me. He got to love me how I am. He hates the sin, not the sinner. We got all these dumb cliches from churches. They none of them are in line with the Holy Scriptures. They're going to get up. Only God can judge me. So John, first, I mean John chapter seven. John chapter seven. Bring it out. Verse twenty-eight. Judge, righteous judge. You know what I want. Twenty-four. Thank you. Bring it out. The book of John, chapter seven, verse twenty-four. Bring it out. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So God said what? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. God said judge righteous judgments. God said judge. Now what's righteous? What's righteous? Romans 7. Romans 7. Bring it out. Romans chapter 7. Watch this. Verse 12. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Now remember what he said. He said, judge, not according to the appearance. Because you know what happened? We see a brother or a sister. They they you know the sister. We see a brother or a sister. The brother, he got diamonds on, jewelry. Bring it out. He fit, he looked handsome. Or we see a sister, she fit, she looked beautiful. And we won't judge them. We won't judge them according to how they look. Right. Because of how they look, we will say, oh, uh, 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 no, everything's fine. We'll overlook somebody because of their beauty. That's what our people do. Right. We'll uphold somebody. Right. We'll uphold somebody because they're rich. We won't say, no, that's a, a rich fool. That's a rich demon. That's right. We don't say that. Right. So what God is saying in judge righteous judgments and, yeah. and, 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 and is we're going to get it. Exodus chapter 23. But to read this, we're going to get what he's talking about. Come on. Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Come on. Wherefore the law is holy. The law is holy. And the commandment holy. And the commandment is holy. And just. And just. And good. And good. So the commandment is all these things. I got a good heart. No, the Bible say the commandment is good. Right. The, the Bible say the commandment is good. Give me righteousness. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Our righteousness 
is us keeping and following the commandments of God. <laughs> Anybody's righteousness is that. And also, when we judge each other, when we say, yo, bro, that's evil. Don't do that. It got to be according to what God said. That's right. No, no, I ain't talking about what you're doing, bro. Yeah. My man was like, yo, I ain't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, I'm, 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 we breaking this scripture. Bring it out. Bring it out. Feel me? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. It and it shall be our righteousness. It shall be. What is our righteousness? Read. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he commanded us. So when the Bible say judge righteous judgments, it's according to the commandments of God. Right. For our well-being, for our welfare. You know why, you know why all the other nations look at us like we nothing? Playing cap. You know why? Bring it out. Right, but why? That, we, that, we know they don't like us, but, but, but why they look at us the way they do? They look at us as inferior because of white supremacy. Say it again? They look at us as inferior, inferior because of white supremacy. But why they look at us as inferior? White supremacy. Right, but how did that happen? They're not getting taught. Um, we, we are yeah. not getting taught. Yeah, we, yeah, we are not getting taught. I would, yeah, I was, yeah. You understand? We, we the ones that they know exactly who you are. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Bring it out. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Give me verse 36. Bring it out. Watch this. Bring it out. 37. 37. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. You know what an astonishment is? It said, this is we're reading the curses of God, right? He says, thou shalt become an astonishment. Black people, our people, the people of God, shall become an astonishment. Like a shock, like you surprised to see. Yeah, you're like, whoa, what, what the hell is wrong? So it says, you shall become an astonishment. You shall become an astonishment. Watch this, it's more, watch this. A proverb. And you're going to become a proverb. You know what a proverb is? A, a wise, a wise, true saying. That's what proverb means. Meaning, I give you a wise, true saying. I give you a wise, true saying, right? If you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. Right. How we all know that? Right. I ain't never met you before. How we know the same thing? That's, that's a that's a proverb about who? Bring it up. About our people. About our people. Read. And a byword. And a byword. You know what a byword is? That's you being called outside of what God called you. Wake him up. Nigga. Joseph. Right? Wake him up. Have way woke. Bring uh, it up. You understand? We niggas, we black, we African American. Where is that? Show me that nation in the Bible. It does not exist. It doesn't exist. It don't exist. We shall become a pro an establishment, a proverb, a byword. Come on. Among all nations. Among all nations. Among all nations. So, so you know what you know you know what that means? Why are they astonished? Oh, because uh, they surprised to see us. They don't like us. Our name it has. So much dirt on it throughout the world. It ain't just here. It's every country in the world. It's spread it all over. Let me show you something. I'm gonna show you what they know that you don't know. Bring it out. I'm gonna show you. Deuteronomy six and seven. Wake them up. I mean four and six. Wake them up. Bring it out. Nice meeting y'all. I'm gonna get home to the key. Okay. Okay. Okay, my sister. I don't know. The Lord knows. You got a flyer, right? Yeah, I got a flyer. Read the flyer. We got contact information on the back, bottom right of the flyer. Uh, YouTube, email, all that stuff is up there. Contact us, all right? I will. All right, but listen up, bro. Oh, we got a school too. Listen up, brother. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. Keep the laws therefore and do them. Come on. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So once upon a time, this is who we were. This is how we behaved. This is the history that they still understand, my brother. You just don't know it. See all these black brothers all around, the, the, standing around on the corner, they don't know it. They don't know, they thought they was just niggas born into a, a America. No, you have a long, rich history. That's right. And it, all of it ain't on the bottom of society, neither. So the nations know that this is how you become and astonishment. They know who you are, and they look at you like, wow, damn, this is the, them the people of God? What, what, whoa, how, how? How are they the only people making songs, calling their own sisters B's and H's all through it? Bring it out, okay? Killing their own people and glorifying Bring it in their, what other people do that? Name me one other people. 
As a whole, nah. Right. Small groups. <laughs> right. As a whole, if you make hip hop, you ain't cool unless you talking about taking somebody woman. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.